Being bad is not as easy as he thought. Well, maybe it's because he got his butt kicked several times. Maybe he should change his actions more often. Yo, what's up everybody? GT Nice here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Megamind, about a blue big head villain named Megamind, played by none other than Will Ferrell, who did an awesome job, who has been a villain his whole life, kidnapping Roxanne Ritchie, a news reporter beautifully played by Tina Fey, tracking down Metro Man, played by Brad Pitt, nailing every single line of the movie, and trying to take over Metro City. And every single day, Megamind's plan has been foiled until now, spoiler alert. He has defeated Metro Man and has won. Sorta. What's new about this movie is that without a hero to track down the villain, what to do? He has to find a hero to kick his butt and be happy again. Now guys, the positive thing is that the animation is over the top! 10 out of 10 capacity of computer animation in film history. I mean, how could they have pulled off an animation that no one has ever done before? It feels realistic for a superhero kid adult movie. I mean, the cinematography was underrated for goodness sakes. It looks like the cinematography from the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video game, which by the way, I am super excited to play that game. I heard the campaign on that piece of awesomeness was great. The acting, especially both Farrell and Faye, was astonishing. I mean, the acting has never been this good before since The Incredibles. I mean, The Incredibles. Incredibles was awesome too, but compared to this movie, I think it's way better. The jokes in this movie finally made sense. They were laugh out loud funny. Well, a couple needs a little more oomph, but the rest hysterical. The character development and articulation was a win for many audiences for a certain decree. I think that DreamWorks needs to make more superhero movies like this. I'm a big superhero fan and a fan of Marvel for sure. Well, there's plenty of superhero movies out there anyway, so why not? But if you want to make a sequel, make sure that the audience knows the characters and, more importantly, you have to put new elements to put into play. But in the end, Megamind was an awesome movie to laugh your butt off and have fun with. It's massive, entertaining, and hilarious. So, I rate Megamind 5 out of 5 stars. Well, most comedies I'm not a big fan of, but when they put tragic moments in this movie to balance it, I believe it goes a long way. So, Megamind, have you seen it? If you haven't, I probably asked you that in my Spider-Man review. So let me know in the comments what superpower could you use to take down evil in your way. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, do so to smash that like button below. That will help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.